Have you ever wondered how to lose weight on a vegan diet? In the next few minutes, we share a vegan fat loss plan for a healthier, happier you. It only takes a little effort and self-control. Going vegan makes it easier to lose weight, especially if you make bigger changes in your diet and lifestyle. When you switch to a plant-based diet full of natural foods, you eat healthier and consume fewer calories. In the next few minutes, we cover the advantages and disadvantages of a vegan diet for weight loss, why you can end up putting on weight rather than losing it, and the do's and don'ts of which foods to eat for weight loss on a vegan diet. You will learn all the information you need to begin a plant-based weight loss diet. Watch the video all the way to the end. Is it easier to lose weight as a vegan? It depends on the diet you follow. For instance, if you regularly fill up on fatty, high-calorie fast food, switching to a vegan diet will help you achieve your weight loss goals faster. If you're already vegan, change your vegan meal plan. Choose nutrient-rich, low-calorie whole foods such as beans and dark leafy greens. You can eat the best organic whole foods, but if your servings are too large or you eat between meals, your weight loss efforts will not work. Whole food plant-based vegan diet makes it simpler to lose weight, but a vegan fat loss diet should include mostly natural foods instead of processed industrial vegan products. What is a vegan diet? A vegan diet consists of processed plant-based foods such as whole grains, leafy greens, fresh fruits, and plant-based protein sources such as beans. To maximize health benefits include nutrient-rich foods in your vegan diet. When you add variety to your vegan diet, it will be easier to stick to it. Vegans abstain from animal products including dairy products, eggs, and other animal products. That includes all types of meat, fish, and other items derived from the exploitation of animals. If you eat eggs or dairy, then your diet is vegetarian. Most I insist on eating fish on a Mediterranean diet, not a vegetarian or vegan diet. How long does it take to lose weight on a vegan diet? It depends on whether you switch from an American standard diet, high in animal, high calorie products. Other factors are your level of physical activity, your preferred meals, and your portion sizes. Remember, every person has a unique body. While it may take some people several months to lose weight, others may experience results in a few weeks on the same vegan meal plan. Your age, gender, metabolism, and other factors also influence how fast you lose weight. Even though you have no control over these factors, if you increase your exercise and lower your caloric intake, you will see weight loss on a vegan diet. Now, can a vegan diet cause weight gain? <gasps> Indeed, like any diet, you may put on weight if your vegan diet is high in fat and carbohydrates. As an illustration, say you love sweet potatoes. They might even be roasted and low in fat. But still, if you ate a whole tray of them on a daily basis, you would probably put on weight instead of losing it. Your ability to maintain control is needed at this point. Keep an eye on your food selections and portion sizes. Food sensitivity might be a factor if you are eating a good vegan diet, exercising and yet gaining weight. Another question people often ask is, why am I not losing weight if I am on a vegan diet? Your vegan diet may not help you lose weight for several reasons. Your eating habits can be one of the causes. Many often associate the word vegan with the word healthy. However. Just because something is vegan does not imply that it is a good thing that will help you lose weight. Even some vegan foods as innocent as fruit juice or some vegan smoothies might ruin your weight loss plan if they are loaded with sugar. Vegan junk food is widely no, available. No, no, no. Many of us have unhealthy fats and hidden sugars packed with empty box? calories. When you purchase Boss Vegan Health Food, check the food labels and stick only to whole low calorie foods. You also may be eating too little, which could be another problem. 
I know that can sound crazy. You should be able to reduce weight by eating less, right? Even while that might be the case, your body still needs a few specific foods in a balanced diet. You may gain weight if you don't eat enough because it can influence your thyroid and metabolism. Aim to set a daily calorie goal and keep a food log. Eat just the right amounts, no more, no less. Portion control is the most frequent cause of weight gain among vegan dieters. Some believe they can eat more because they are making healthier food choices. Oh no! Weight gain may result from this mindset. Another problem is taking snacks between meals. Or if you're responsible for preparing the family's meals, you might end up nibbling and tasting the ingredients and food while you cook. Before you know it, you gain weight through the out of control caloric intake. Now let's see how to start a vegan diet or fast weight loss. Any diet or weight loss program will require persistence and patience. Even if you lose a lot of weight fast, it might be from water loss and not actual fat. So while going vegan can hasten your weight loss, it will take time and effort. Now I will share a few vegan recommendations for losing weight on a vegan diet. First and foremost, cut back on your daily calorie intake. Weight loss occurs when you burn more calories than you take in. You should monitor how many calories you consume each day to achieve this. The main secret to reducing caloric intake is to eat fewer high calorie foods. Limit oh, your consumption of fatty vegan foods, nuts, desserts and other potentially high calorie foods. Consuming high fat foods or dressings like olive oil and nut butter when trying to lose weight is a common vegan diet mistake. These foods provide a lot of calories despite being healthy when consumed in moderation. Your calorie intake easily skyrockets, pushing you past a calorie deficit. Avoid overeating. I have said this before in the video, but it is so important. Keep down on the amount of vegan food you eat, no matter how healthy it is. Establish a daily caloric intake and stick to it with no exceptions. Meal prepping is crazy important. It's easier to stay in control and regulate portion sizes when you plan ahead. Plan your menu for the next day and even better, for the week ahead. It simply makes your week easier. You may quickly plan wholesome meals besides keeping track of your daily objectives by using an app like Last. You are also less likely to stray from your diet and eat something that won't help you reach your weight reduction goals. Have everything prepared and portioned out beforehand. Try keeping a daily food record in addition to preparation to hold yourself accountable. Read the labels. Vegan isn't automatically equivalent to healthy or good for those trying to lose weight. Vegan only means free from animal products. Even commercial vegan foods can still be processed and include hidden sugars and fats making it harder to lose weight. Make sure you carefully review the ingredient list on every product you purchase at the store, no matter how healthy they claim it is. Stick to processed, low-calorie, natural, whole and organic foods. Avoid Ugh. vegan junk food like chips, ice cream, fries and cookies. And you have no idea how important protein is. Yeah, I know it is challenging to include protein in a vegan diet. But it is crucial for keeping you satisfied and preventing snacking or overeating. Make sure your everyday diet contains a sufficient amount of protein. Your metabolism may decrease when you are protein deficient, making it more challenging for you to lose weight. When you are on a diet trying to lose weight, the worst thing you can do is struggle alone. Joining a support group allows you to share food and exercise advice. Top scientists finally reveal the reason why you are struggling to lose weight. Make sure to look for the Icaria Lean Belly Juice link in the description. Locate an activity partner and talk about your challenges and accomplishments. While you struggle with the challenges of a weight loss diet, support groups can also help you improve your mental health. 
it can be an uphill battle to lose weight, so having peer support can make it easier to stick to a plan that includes healthy food and frequent exercise. Best seek groups or individuals that understand and align with your vegan lifestyle. You can use all the help you can get, and faith in God can help you reach out to a higher power outside yourself. When you seek God, you come to understand you can rely on a powerful Heavenly Father ready to save you and support your efforts to better yourself. Knowing the Almighty God is on your side can help you achieve any lofty weight loss goal. God loves you and wants the best for you. Now let's go to the really fun part and share with you all the foods that can help you burn fat. Not all vegan foods are equal. Certain foods are low in calories, while others pass through several metabolic processes in your body. Their effects on your hormone levels, hunger, and calorie expenditure varies. Vegan diets are well known for their health advantages. A vegan lifestyle also limits animal suffering while protecting the environment. But being vegan alone won't cause you to lose weight magically. Let's look at some vegan foods that will assist you on your fat loss journey. I love pasta, that's why zucchini noodles are a personal favorite. They will allow you to satisfy your hunger for pasta with a nutritious food rather than empty calories. They are delicious even with no sauce. Other fat burners are apples and nearly all fresh fruit. Apples are full of vitamins and nutrients are high on fiber and make a fantastic snack or part of your diet for breakfast or dinner. They also help you feel full. The same is true about just any fruit. My personal favorite is watermelon. A portion of fruit will take away hunger while at the same time adding nearly no calories. Some whole grains can also help you shed pounds. Oats, brown rice, and quinoa are three cool examples. They are all high in fiber and also have some protein, two nutrients that make you feel full. Now, leafy greens are also your allies when you want to get rid of unwanted pounds. Kale, spinach, collars, and Swiss chard are examples of leafy greens. Leafy greens have a low caloric content but are also high in fiber, making them ideal foods for weight loss. Cruciferous vegetables are other superfoods on our fat loss shortlist. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage are cruciferous vegetables. They're filling and great for lowering your overall calorie intake because like leafy greens, they are low in calories and fiber rich. Cruciferous vegetables are the ideal foods if you're trying to lose weight because of their low caloric content and high nutritional value. Now, if you like soup, you are in luck. According to several studies, eating food in a soup instead of a solid form causes people to feel fuller faster, consuming a lot fewer calories. Nut lovers are going to like this one. Nuts have a lot of good fats, yet they don't cause people to acquire in one weight. Some recommended nuts are almonds, pistachios, walnuts, pecans, and hazelnuts. Watch out for brazil nuts and coconut. Their caloric content is off the charts. Avoid. Nuts are among the healthiest snacks you can eat because they often provide you with a balanced diet of protein, fiber, and fats. Nut consumption can enhance metabolic health and possibly aid in weight loss, but use them sparingly because they have lots of fat. Avocados are a fantastic addition to any weight reduction plans, since they are not as calorie dense as one might imagine. Just eat them in moderation. In closing, you might be in a calorie deficit if you want to lose weight. To maintain a caloric imbalance, give your body fewer calories than it requires. Knowing your maintenance calories, the precise number of calories your body needs to support energy expenditure is the first step in creating this shortfall. 
National Institute of Health body weight planner estimates to maintain its calories depending on these factors weight, age, sex, height, and amount of physical activity. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics states that a daily calorie deficit of 500 calories is adequate for weight loss. This calorie deficit would not impact your hunger or energy levels. For uh, further information on this uh, topic, check out uh, the article on our website for further information. The link is right there in the description. Thank you.